mortgage rates went above 5% for the first time in more than a decade. The average three-year fixed rate mortgage, the most popular home loan product, has not been this high since February 2011. It is at 5.375% at the time I'm making this video. And the Feds just announced another rate hike Wednesday the biggest one in 22 years, and potentially more raises to come this year. We have seen home prices skyrocket the past couple of years, but how will this rapid interest rate hike affect our housing market? Well, let's take a look at how we did during last month here in the Treasure Valley, and then talk about the burning question, the housing affordability and the future of our housing market. But before we get started, my name is Judith Kreis, broker owner with Top Idaho Real Estate, selling homes in the Valley since 2003 and bringing you the local market updates every month so you can keep your eyes on the local real estate market to help you make educated decisions when buying or selling. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so and click the bell to get notified when our new videos come out. So let's see those numbers and let's start with Boise, Meridian, Eagle and the rest of Ada County. There were 2,962 homes available for sale in Ada County in April, 18% more than this time last year and 7% more than the previous month. We listed 1,299 homes for sale in April, 7% more than last April and 4% more than the previous month. As you can see, the median listing price for the month was $549,000, a 20% increase since last April, and a 4% increase since the previous month. The average number of days homes spent on the market before being sold was 15 days, only a few days more than this time last year and about a week less than a month ago. The median sales price was $569,000 last month, a 19% increase year-to-date and a 2% increase from last month. The number of homes sold decreased 12% year-over-year and increased 2% month-over-month. And now let's take a look at Canyon County. There were 858 homes available for sale in Nampa in April, 19% more than this time last year and 4% more than last month. We listed 394 homes in April, 8% more than this time last year and 1% more than last month. As you can see, the average listing price for the month was $453,000, a 15% increase since last April and a 2% increase from last month. The average number of days homes spent on the market before being sold was 19 days. It took almost twice as long to sell a home than this time last year, but about a week less than the previous month. The average sales price was $481,000 last month, a 25% increase year to date and a 4% increase from the previous month. The number of homes sold decreased 9% year over year, but increased 2% month over month. With the rising interest rates, some people expected the market to slow down and home prices to come down. But since that first quarter percent rate hike in mid-March, we can clearly see that it is not the case and home prices keep going up even higher. But why is that? Well, it's really simple. Home prices are influenced by supply and demand. We had a huge shortage of homes in the past couple of years already, and with mortgage rates increasing, we will have even fewer homes going on the market. The majority of homeowners have low 2 to 3% interest rates on their home currently, and with rates going up, they will think twice about moving and getting a new home with a significantly higher mortgage rate. Unless, of course, they own their home outright and in that case, mortgage rates don't matter. Or they have to move, let it be job transfer, divorce or some similar life-changing situation. With the economic slowdown in 2001, then in 2008, and the latest in 2020, to stimulate the economy, the government kept printing more and more money, causing major inflation. The annual inflation rate was 8.5% in March, a 40-year high. The only way they can slow down the inflation and get it under control is to control spending by raising interest rates. Rising interest rates, however, can and likely will slow down the economy and it will affect the housing market too, but not necessarily the housing prices. The rising rates are creating an even bigger housing affordability problem than we've been dealing with the past couple of years. 
If you bought a home in Ada County a year ago at the median sales price of $480,000 and you put 20% down payment of $96,000, took a 30-year loan at 2.8% interest rate, your monthly mortgage payment would be about $1,600. If you want to buy the same home now with a 20% home price increase we had in the past 12 months, the same home would cost you 20% more, so $576,000. To put down 20%, you would need $115,200, so you need more cash for down payment and your mortgage is going to cost you more because you are going to get a 5.2% interest rate. So your mortgage payment will be right around $25.50 a month on that exact same home. So you will need more money for the down payment, you will need to borrow more money for the mortgage, and your monthly cost of owning the home has gone up by 60% from $1,600 to $2,550 a month. And that's not including the higher property taxes that you are also going to have to pay because now your property taxes and your insurance are going to go up as well because the home's value is higher. As rates are rising rapidly, we can expect their impact on home buyers' demand to change eventually from a motivator, driving a sense of urgency to buy before rates rise further, to a deterrent, causing buyers to step back as the cost of home buying exceeds their budget. There are signs that this shift is beginning to take place in certain areas already, according to Redfin. So if you're looking for a home, the sooner you buy one, the better before rates go up too high for you to consider buying. Look for a less expensive home than you are actually approved for. As most homes still receive multiple offers, often over asking price, you will be able to come in strong with your offer and win that bid, but always set the limit for yourself. Never waive home inspection rather than just keep your right to terminate your contract should you discover some costly issues with the property. And if you are thinking about selling, List your home before prices are starting to correct. I know, ideally, you want to sell at the peak, but nobody knows when we are at the peak, only when we are looking at it in our rearview mirror. So, the best time to sell your home is when the time is right for you. Also, make sure to price your home right. Do not overprice it. Make sure it shows well. Moving is hard enough as it is, so most buyers prefer a move-in ready home and willing to pay top dollar for it. So take your time and make your home shine. Declutter, depersonalize and deep clean. Trust me, your time and effort will make a huge difference at the end of the sale. And last but not least, whether you are selling or buying, work with an experienced realtor, one who knows and understands the market, one who is a savvy, experienced negotiator. And before you go, Make sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to get notified when our new videos come out. Until next time, I hope to see you around town. This is Judith Chris, owner broker of Top Idaho Real Estate, providing real value in a changing world.